What's going on guys? My name is Anthony and welcome back to your fourth um, Java tutorial in the basics of game development. Sorry, I almost forgot what I was supposed to say there. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to basically add an image into your game. So in games, obviously, there's tons of images, tons of textures that you're going to be adding in. So today we're just going to be adding in a simple character and he's going to be displayed on our screen. And then I think in the next tutorial, we're ready to actually move this guy back and forth, make him jump or whatever. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, so, yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create a, cl uh, a class, no, an object from the image class. Now, the image class basically uh, is a way of displaying our actual images that we want to import into our game. So the first thing you're going to do is up here, we're going to go private, um, just because we don't need to access it outside of this class, image, and then we'll call him dude. So end that with a semicolon. We don't actually need to initialize him because we do that after. So to do this, well, to import, just hit the little bulb and add the import java.awt.image. Now, the way that Java stores the images, um, how it actually loads the images through an image icon class. So to do this, we're going to have to go into our uh, paint component, or we could actually declare it out here. It doesn't really matter. But uh, I'm going to just go in here and type in image icon. And now this is a new class, so we're going to have to import this as well, javax.swing.image icon. And I'll just call this ii for image icon and then go equal to new image icon. Now I'm going to close that and we're actually going to have a quite lengthy parameter. Now before we do this, we're going to actually have to load in the image that we're going to want to use in our game. So to do this, we're going to go and I actually have it already done. Who do you guys want to see this car? Ferrari F50. It's awesome. It's my favorite car. Definitely my dream car. Um, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon though. Anyways, so uh, where'd the image go? I actually made an image just before this. Pretty junky. I'm not much of an art student. Uh, it's basically just a little dude. So drag this and just drag it over top of your package and drop it and it should put it into your, into your game folder. So now that we have that, we could actually call this uh, image that we created in our image icon. So to do this, um, it's quite lengthy, so bear with me. We're gonna uh, just like copy it right from me and I'll explain it after. We're gonna go this dot get class and then dot again get resource. Now the resource is actually gonna be um, the PNG image that I have up here. It's called dude.png. It'll be whatever you call yours. Uh, you might call it uh, smileyface.png. It might be a JPG. Um, I'm pretty sure Java supports PNGs, JPGs, GIFs. Uh, they support a ton of different image types, but the most common ones are PNGs and JPGs. Now, we're going to actually put this in quotes in our get resource, and we're going to type dude.png. Now, all this has done is basically created um, a placeholder for our image in our code. Now the image icon class takes the parameter of this dot get class. Um, I don't really know how to explain this, but just put it there. And then after you can actually go dot get resources where you actually point to where your um, your image file is. Now if it was in a different directory other than um, basics of game dev, if it wasn't in the same package, you would actually have to specify the directory. Um, I'll show you that when we actually need to get into actual game development where we're going to have multiple packages, one for our images, one for our game scripts, and um, the other ones for music files and all that other type of things. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that later, but for now we're just going to keep it in the same package. So all you have to do is go do.png or whatever the name is that you created. Now after this, we're going to actually have to link our image icon to our image class so we can display it on the screen. So to do that, all you have to do is go dude is equal to ii dot get image. And that's it. So that's not very hard. It's just this big old uh, 
little call that you have to put into the uh, constructor of the image icon class. So if you guys don't uh, really understand it, pretty much just memorize it. That's what I did. And now that we've done that, we are able to display it using our G2D graphics. So I'm going to delete this so it's a little less confusing. And then I'll delete my color that I created. And now we're going to actually use G2D dot draw image. So it's not very hard. All you have to do is that. And now you're going to want to specify your for your first parameter. You're going to want to specify the image you're going to want to use. So that's going to be the dude image. And then you specify your X and Y coordinates. Um, so I don't know, let's specify it as 100, comma 100. And then for the last parameter, it's, uh, I forget what it's called. Let me just see. G2D dot draw image. It's called an image observer. All you're going to want to do is put it as this. You're always going to use that as, well, at least for my tutorials. Just put your last parameter as this. So now that that's done, we should have a dude displayed on our screen, screen when we run this. So to do that, let's hit the run button and boom. We got a little dude on the screen. He has a white background. That's just because I didn't make it transparent when I created it. I just made it in paint. So that's all we have really displaying now. And we're going to learn how to move this guy across the screen left and right, make him jump. And I don't know, we're going to do a bunch of stuff. And then we're going to actually create a game. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.